transportation, they really have it worked out here. The transportation is awesome. Bye! Hi friends! So today I'm going to show you everything that I bring in my carry-on when I travel. So this is going to be a long video, so get yourself some snacks, get yourself a drink, get yourself some tea, and we will spill everything that's in this bag. So I'm going to go over all of the makeup in here and everything else that I also bring in here. Everything you need to travel will be in this bag. Um, this may not work for everybody, but these are the things that I like to travel with a lot. So we're just going to get into it. My travel bag matches my luggage. It's um, by Samsonite. I got the burgundy one. They have them also in green and my aunt has the blue one and I think they also have black but I like the red one so I got the red one. So as you can see there's a lot going on in this bag so we're just going to get into it. So just not really going by order the first thing I have in here are two books. I have Diary of an Oxygen Thief which was a viral book that everyone was talking about so I got this when it was really popular and then I read two chapters of it and I stopped and I don't know why because I really liked it. It was very brutally honest and blunt and I just really liked this book. So I'm going to bring this one and then since that book's really short and I'm going to be on like two nine hour flights, I also brought The Black Dahlia. This is a, I want to say it's like a historical fiction because it talks about the Black, Mur the Black Dahlia murders but it also goes into like the, it's told from the point of view of a detective and I'm not sure if it's actually the detec detective on the case or if it's just somebody so I'm gonna say it's historical fiction. Got it at a thrift shop for 50 cents. Love everything to do with horror and all of that stuff so I can't pass up anything about the Black Dahlia or murderers or anything like that in general so this was a must have so I must read it now. So something that's so important that I don't have here because my headphones aren't on me right now. You need to have headphones whether it's for your music or an audiobook or it's just gonna keep you entertained. Really quick I also brought a body spray. This is my favorite one. It's Aquamarine by Bath and Body Works. It also um, is my birthstone so I was really happy to like the way it smells but oh, it just smells so clean and nice and a lot of body mists and perfumes give me super bad headaches and this one doesn't do that so I'm really happy I have this one. This is the most important bag in my carry-on, hands down. It has all of my medication in it. I don't know who this bag is. This bag is by Vera Bradley. My boyfriend's parents got it for me in a set. In here I have all of the super important stuff. I have my contact lenses which I need to see. I have deodorant so I don't stink. And then I have Allegra so I don't break out in hives and die. I have some Excedrin migraine because I get headaches. My birth control. A Tide to Go pen which is always handy because I am a mess. I make a mess everywhere. This shirt probably has a stain on it and I just put it on. And then very important, two hair ties. This squiggly one is like if I'm really in desperate need and then I just brought an extra black one because I will die if I lose my hair ties. If you need them, I would include a toothbrush and toothpaste. My plane ride usually provides them for me so I don't worry about those. Just some weird quirks about me about things that I need to bring is a sweater because I'm always cold on the plane so I usually just bring a flannel. This one is from Kohl's and it's super soft so I really like that. Also my boy, something my boyfriend thinks is super weird is that I bring fuzzy socks, really long fuzzy socks. These are Christmas fuzzy socks, they're super cute. I got them for Christmas last year. I love Christmas, Every, I'm ready for Christmas. I have a Christmas countdown on my phone and guess what? There's only 154 days until Christmas, so get ready my friends. I'm gonna start doing Christmas videos on this channel and like, as soon as Halloween is over, as soon as it's over, Christmas videos will start. So, but my boyfriend thinks it's weird because I always travel with sandals. I'm gonna be taking these with me, so I'll be wearing these ones specifically. But I get cold on the plane, so I always take these off, slip my socks on, and I'm chilling. It's so nice, but my boyfriend doesn't take his shoes off on the plane apparently, and he thinks it's weird that I do. 
Last thing before we dive into all my makeup, I take I take a spare set of clothes. So I have a t-shirt, an undershirt, and a pair of pants at the bottom, just in case they lose my luggage. So I have something with me at least. This is my little bag of brushes. I got this at the Van Gogh Museum in Amsterdam last year. So I love this little bag. It's carried all of my brushes since I've traveled since. So all of my brushes are in here. I'm not gonna go over them, but that's also in there. Diving in to my makeup and my skincare. This bag I got at Marshalls for $1.99. Love it. It's huge. And then this is everything I'm taking. Disclaimer, there is there are a couple products in here that aren't cruelty free. Just because when I'm not filming, I use up all the cruelty free products, non cruelty free products that I had because I'm not just going to throw them away because that's a waste of money. So, heads up about that. Hope you're cool with it, but that's just something that I do. It's a personal preference of mine, so I don't want to see any hate in the comments about it, please. The first thing I want to talk about is since I have dry skin and the plain cabin air is pressurized, it really makes me a flaky alligator dragon scale. So I'm going to show you my favorite ways to com combat this. So first is this new product to me that is my holy grail for dry, dry, dry days. We're talking like... Sahara Desert Dry is the Summer Fridays Jet Lag Mask. This I bought specifically for this trip and I've tried it a few times and I'm in love with it. I think it's going to be amazing, it's going to work incredible and I'm so happy to have this for the flight. Because I'm taking seven of them this trip guys, so I'm going to need that. Next is just some type of facial mist. I'm going to take the Mario Basuto one. This is the rose one. Not the biggest fan of this one. Strongly prefer the green tea but the green tea one for me is over the ounce limit. You're only allowed to have four ounces, and this one is exactly four ounces. Next, a pack of makeup remover wipes. These are just the Up and Up brand. They're my favorite. They're cheap. They're easy. I love them. Condu skincare. I'm going to take the Origins Ginseng Gel Moisturizer. This stuff for is really good in the daytime when you're just putting makeup on top of it. It gets some hydration in you, and it's pretty all right. It's not my favorite, but it's not the worst. For night, I'm bringing the high potency mask from Origins. This stuff is a really good mask to put on at night, especially when you're traveling because it's thick, it's rich, and it'll give your skin the moisture it needs when you're freaking out, you're jet lagged, you're time zoned, you just, you need moisture and you need your skin to look good because you gotta get those pretty pictures with your gondolas and your Tower of Pizza and your La Tour Eiffel. It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye Eye Cream. This is a sample and I love it. Samples are really fun to travel with. They're really convenient. So I'm taking that one. And then this one isn't cruelty free. This is the Belief Cosmetics sample. I got this one. It's almost gone. So I figured I'd take it and use it up and that would be that. So, so as far as lips go, mine get really dry. So I'm going to be taking the Burt's Bees Coconut and Pear Moisturizing Lip Balm. It's really super important to have easily accessible lip balm so don't bring anything with a pot because germs and all the stuff that you're touching and looking at you're not gonna have time to sanitize your hands all the time so stick lip balm will be your best friend this is coconut and pear and I love the way it smells and it works really well that's all of the skincare related products I'm taking then for primer I'm taking two of my samples just because they're easier to travel with and I don't really need primer like crazy since I'm dry this one's the First Light Primer from Becca, and this one is the Coconut Skin Smoothing Primer from da -da -da -da, First Aid Beauty. So don't love them, don't hate them, they're just there. Now, I couldn't live without this, so my foundation of choice is the It Cosmetics CC Cream. I'll be taking this. I know it works for me. I know it'll work every time, so that's why I'm taking it. It's just super reliable. Next for concealer, I'm taking the Kat Von D Concealer and the Catrice. I'm a concealer junkie, so I take two. You don't have to take two, I just prefer taking two. So I always take two concealers, and it's just my preference. I like it better, so these are the concealers I'll be taking. They're reliable, again. You don't want to try new things while you're traveling. It just doesn't always work out. As far as eyes go, I'll be taking two palettes. Dream Street, of course. I can't live without Dream Street. And then I'm also taking a mini ColourPop Z palette that just has some of my staple favorites in it. So I'll be good on eyeshadow with these two. And I'm also taking some Super Shock shadows because I can't help myself. 
I'll be taking Super Hardcore and Waddles, which is my favorite combination when I don't want a lot on my eyes. And then I'll be taking Ladybird just for when I do looks that I want a really bright eye. So I have, these are my eye products, my eyeshadow. I'm a junkie. I have a problem. I know it. So I have two blushy blushes. I have the Milani Luminoso. No surprise. I love it. And the Tarte Party Blush, which I got from Sephora as a birthday gift. I think everyone did. So I got that, and I like it. For powder, just a pressed powder. This is the Cover, Cover FX powder. You guys have seen before that I destroyed with my nails. In light. So I prefer taking a press to a loose just because it's not going to make a mess as easy. So that's really it. For highlight, I got the Anastasia Sweets palette, but this one is feeling really heavy, so I think I'm going to trade it out. I think I'm going to take Becca Champagne Pop and Fenty um, Lightning Dust and Fire Crystal instead. Right. Bronzer, Wet n Wild. Also for contour, I have the Fenty Matchstick in Amber, my favorite contour product. I have an Essence Mascara in here, just a random one. I have the Milani Make It Last Setting Spray. I bought this specifically for this trip because it meant it met the ounce requirement, so that's why I have this one. Lippy lips. I have all these lippy lips. Let's just get the not cruelty free one out of the way. This is the YSL one in number nine. It's a gorgeous color. It smells delicious. I can't part with this, so I'm trying to use it up. And I figured when I'm not on camera is the time to do it, so that's why I'm bringing this one. And I did pay $36 for it, so I don't want to hear anyone coming for me in the comments for still using it. If I spent $36 on it, I'm going to use it. I also have the Fenty Beauty Gloss Bomb. You guys know I love it. I have Aquarius Satin Lip. And then I have um, my favorite matte lip creams in LA and Cairo. Last thing I want to talk about is Kleenex. It's really a personal preference thing. I have really bad allergies. My nose runs all the time, so I always pack some Kleenex because I need them. Lord knows I need them. I forgot to mention this, but please bring your chargers in your carry-on because if you lose it, you're gonna be very, very, very upset. So put not only your regular wall charger in your carry-on, but also, if you have one, bring your portable charger because you're gonna wanna have this on you Trust me, you will. So bring your portable charger in your carry-on as well. And then I know everyone wants to take their pretty bags when they go to Europe, but I would suggest getting a bag. Hang on, I'll show you. I would suggest taking this. This I got from a travel store. It is cut resistant, so if someone tries to cut your strap, it's not gonna work. It also, and also this is a wallet that I recommend. This is the ugliest thing I know. But it is a travel wallet, it's travel safe, and the most important part about this wallet is this strap right here will clip to your wallet, so if anyone just tries to take your wallet, it's connected to your purse and it's not going anywhere. Make sure you also have your passport in here and your driver's license. All of your identification is on you because if someone breaks into your hotel, if you lose your luggage, you want to make sure you have this on you. So definitely put your purse in your carry-on as well. And I know it's not the prettiest thing in the world. God, the first time my aunt made me wear this, I wanted to die. Alright you guys, well that's everything that I hope that I would recommend you travel with or not travel with. And if you guys have something that you travel with all the time that I missed, put it down below so I'm not missing out on my trip. And I will see you guys later in my next video. Bye! So this is something I would recommend wearing to the airport because you got a plain graphic tee, you got some leggings, and then you got some easy but comfy shoes that you can wear. So I think this is perfect and then you have your sweater in your bag that you can put on over this and you'll be cozy and comfy.